What is going on everybody? My name is Pete, but you probably already knew that, but in case you didn't, you guys are watching the one and only Paid to Drive, and of course, Pay to Drive Vlogs coming at you with another new video. Hope you're doing great out there. Uh, so listen, everybody, if you drive for apps like Grubhub, DoorDash, Uber Eats, or any of the others, you should definitely be subscribed to this channel with all notifications turned on. That is correct, everybody. All right. So, uh, also hit the like button. I'm oh, sorry. I got a little distracted for a second. Hit that like button. Just lets YouTube know I'm doing a good job. Subscribe with notifications on and let's jump into this. So huge shout out to Darcy Jones for sharing this. Um, this, this is not a, a great thing right here. You know, uh, again, I'm not trying to freak people out, but this is, th these are actual real articles about real information that's going on with DoorDash. So listen, it says DoorDash plunges into loss on pricey grocery expansion. So we've talked about this not too long ago about DoorDash wanting to get into grocery delivery a little bit more, you know, with the whole Instacart thing being called out. Now, you know, there's been talks of them wanting to purchase Instacart. So listen to this. Food delivery firm DoorDash Incorporated's loss widened more than expected in the second quarter as the U.S. upstart spent heavily to expand internationally and into a crowded market for grocery during the pandemic. The company said its total, total expenses more than doubled to $1.34 billion, with a B, shout out to Walter White, overshadowing a surge in revenue and sending its shares down 5% in extended trading. Yikes. Demand for delivery of essentials has stayed strong during the health crisis, leading DoorDash to sign new partnerships with pet specialty retailer PetSmart Incorporated, grocer Albertsons Incorporated, and plant-based meat maker Beyond Meat. If you guys have an Albertsons in your area, let me know in the chat or the comments. The company has also increased its presence outside its core market of the United States by expanding into Canada, Australia, and Japan. Not too long ago, I talked about them moving uh, their business to Japan as well. But I did not know about Australia and Canada. I, I do have a, actually, I do have a few viewers who are in Canada. Um, so in the chat or the comments, let me know where you guys work, what market, what country, let me know. While that helped the company beat revenue expectations when an 83% surge to 1.24 billion, its loss of 30 cents per share was wider than a refinitive IBES estimate of a 20 cents loss. The company said it expects full year marketplace gross order value, a metric measuring the total value of all app orders and subscription fees between 39 billion and 40.5 billion it had forecast $35 billion to $38 billion earlier. It also raised its outlook for core earnings. So what do we think about this, everybody? In the chat, in the comments down below, do you think this is bad news for DoorDash, okay? Um, I'm, I'm not saying that it's like, oh my God, DoorDash is gonna go out of business. I don't think we're quite there, um, but it seems that as DoorDash tries to expand, okay, that in some ways it brings a lot of positive, but it also brings a lot of negative to the table. You know, look, I understand all these companies, they want to expand, they want to grow bigger and larger and monopolize the market and all that stuff, buy up the competitors and all that. You know, I get it. I totally understand that. Um, but at the same time, it causes more issues for them, you know, in retrospect, because it's almost like they're, they're overcomplicating things, you know, think about it as a food delivery service, just as it is just picking up food and dropping it off. Look how many issues they're having just with that. And now they're trying to dive into other things, but unless their plan is let's just try and make as much money as we can, whether or not our platform is stable, whether or not our platform provides an excellent service. Maybe they're just trying to say, let's make as much money as we can, as fast as we can. And if we go belly up, then that's it. You know what I mean? We, we get bought out by another company or something, you know, I don't know, but I'll tell you, it wouldn't be Grubhub buying them. It would probably be like Uber buying DoorDash. But again, you know, now we're getting a little off topic, but basically, 
Uh, this is not great news for DoorDash. You know, it, uh, again, when you hear this kind of stuff, because think about it, at the end of the day, if investors are not happy, it could cause an entire company to go belly up. And we'll see, we'll just have to see what happens. We'll have to keep monitoring it and see where this goes. So in the chat, in the comments section, what are your thoughts on this? Do you think this is a good thing? Do you think it's a bad thing? Or somewhere kind of in the middle? I'm, you know, I, I'll say I'm somewhere kind of in the middle, but it, it doesn't sound great. It doesn't sound great, to be honest. I don't know. But Darcy, thank you for sharing that. I really appreciate it. And uh, if you guys ever want to share anything, an article, a story, a question, email me at paytodrivestories at gmail.com. That's the best place to reach me. But if you want a little bit of a quicker response, you can actually sign up and message me on the Patreon app. There's a link in the description or in the pin top comment to message me on there, patreon.com slash paid to drive. So anyone that signs up, I give you guys shout outs in all my new videos as my way of saying thank you and recognizing you. Uh, so I'm going to do that right now. If you hear your name called in the chat or the comments, say, hey, Pete, I heard my name. So uh, we've got Samantha Michaels, Brian Pomeroy, Brian Medina, Heidi Barnes, Joe Valerio, Kurt Paul, Lee Peacock, Tulsa Todd, William Boudreaux, Laura Love, Agus, Tom Perry, Alan G. Van Horn, Drew Hanor, Fernando Carranza, Frank Haviland, Fresh One, Jason Casta, Just In Case, Lulu Laura, Natalie Mosley, Sarah Keston, Scott Freisner, Sherry Cassidy, Stephen Neely, Joyce Hine, Brian Richardson, Kenny Bess, Ginny Thomas... And of course, John Bonacci, Matt Epperson, Nick G, Stacey Miller, Terrence Pacheco, and Valerie Brown. Huge shout out to all of you guys. So yes, yeah, sign up on Patreon, send me a message, links down below. And of course, please everybody, make sure to download the free gas app for any smartphone. It's called Get Upside. Link is in the bottom of the description. Make sure to download it today if you haven't done it yet. All right, basically how it works is you download it from the link in the description. Go to your gas station, pump your gas, print out your receipt, take a picture of your receipt with the Get Upside Gas app, and within 48 hours or so, you'll get anywhere from 15 cents to 45 cents a gallon back, which is pretty fantastic. And if a friend or family member signs up using your code, you'll get paid every time they pump gas. It's called Get Upside. Links in the description. Please make sure to download it today. And of course, if you want one of these awesome pay to drive police shirts, which is basically my moderator team, uh, you can get this design and many others at paytodrivestore.com. There's tons of designs on there, really comfortable stuff, uh, different colors, sizes, all that stuff. You name it, we probably got it at uh, paytodrivestore.com for all your t-shirts, hoodies, and goodies. Links down below. Make sure to go check that out. And if you made it to the end of this video, simply leave a comment saying END 419 and 419. Just lets me know you made it to the end. Don't forget to hit the free red subscribe button down below and turn on the notification bell to the right. Set it to all so you're always notified when I post something new. Hit that like button. Just lets YouTube know I'm doing a good job. And until next time, get that money, get that honey, keep hustling and keep bustling. And we'll see you next time right here on Paid to Drive. And of course, Paid to Drive Vlogs. Really appreciate every single one of you. Thank you so much for watching. And as always, drive safe, be well, take care of yourselves and each other, and we'll see you on the next one.